So now, that. So I've always thought that the sheer existence of sin and evil is evidence of God's non-existence. It's at least the Christian God. And, it, and probably every other God on earth. Now, I would be far more likely to believe in a God that's not omnibenevolent, not omniscient, or omnipotent. I'd be far more likely to believe in a creator that, you know, wasn't what are the three things I just said. But then again, I'm not even willing to believe in that because of the whole quantum fluctuation theory that, you know, states that uh, a quantum fluctuation, let's see, I gotta find the argument. I'm, I'm not gonna say it very well unless I fucking find it. Ed, it's on Ed Current's Occam's Razor, simply wrong video. Hello? I'm Edward. That guy is so awesome. I love you, I'm Edward true. Current. You're the, you the smartest Bob. atheist I've ever fucking seen, dude. You totally... I mean, for, I thought you were real for a while, dude, and I was like, oh, my God. How, is, this guy, like, how is this guy, like, serious? But, like, he's obviously not serious, but uh, it's just like he's so believable, yet unbelievable. It's, I don't know. Anyway, here's the argument. As part of a quantum fluctuation, a singularity spontaneously inflated into a vast field compromising matter and energy in a constantly expanding fabric of space and time, causality also arising in the process, thus making a causative agent only not only unnecessary but impossible. So basically, a quantum fluctuation, which as I understand it to be, is a uh, fluctuate, like an energy like, basically energy that's produced from absolutely nowhere for a short period of time. And uh, this quantum fluctuation caused energy and uh, it made the Big Bang, which, you know, it spontaneously created the Big Bang and spontaneously inflated to a vast field compromising matter, meaning the universe. So and energy in a constantly expand, uh, expanding face uh, constantly expanding fabric of space and time causality which is basically the rule of cause and effect also arising in the process so before before the this universe as we know it was made and uh, by the way who's to say that there wasn't a universe before this one or who's to say that there was nothingness before this I mean, I'm sure there's, like, an explana uh, explanation somewhere. I mean, everybody seems to believe this is the only universe, and I know there's a multiverse theory or whatever, but I, you know, I mean, who's to say that there's not, a mul like, a giant, like, I, well, in Family Guy, there is a, a multiverse episode, and on the, their premise was that, uh, there is a constant, there is a infinite amount of universes with every, every single event that it could happen, every single path of, like, being every, uh, fuck, I'm looking for a certain word and it's just slipping my mind right now. But anyway, this, according to the, uh, this theory, this is the, uh, phi for theory, I think, but, um, it, like, it, okay, God has always been around, so why, why, oh why, oh why, could not the universe have always been around? You know, this theory states that cause and effect didn't come until after the Big Bang, which proves, you know, that there's no causative agent, a.k.a. a god. So, if you'd like to, uh, you know, correct any of my mistakes or criticize anything or... I mean, I'd really, like, I'm really interested in quantum physics. I've just, I never took it, and I, I took physics, but not quantum physics. But, uh, you know, I mean... I, I guess I could sign up for a, a college course at the community college, but I doubt they have, like, hardcore quantum physics there. 
Anyway, um, I would definitely like some feedback, positive, negative, I don't care. I mean, honestly, if you... Th this is something I'm gonna just make a new rule of. If you have, if you flame me, I'm not gonna respond to you. Okay, I'm not blocking you, that's done with. I'm not gonna block you, I'm not gonna censor you, I'm just not gonna respond to your ass at all. <laughs> Plus, but, okay, if you make a good argument, if you are, well, not necessarily a good argument, but if you're making an argument that's not like a, you know, you're a fucking faggot, you're gonna burn in hell, kind of comment, then, you know, I'm gonna either say fuck you or just not talk to you. What the fuck is that shit? Fuck, man. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I would definitely like to hear, uh, feedback. Eh, this is hot. Hey, that's kind of cool. Let's see. Hey, what what do you guys think I should do? That's hot. Whoa, that is sick. I might just do this as like a fractal image. That is fucking trippy man that's pretty cool I like it how about that I mean what well, I would like definitely to know what type of shit that's cool as fuck too I like that but anyway I'm gonna do another video with a filter on